looking forward to getting this season going, man, and getting that first game started. Uh, very excited. You know, I've been waiting a long time, you know, for this time just to play again. So I'm going to be, you know, happy on Tuesday. What kind of advantage does a three guard lineup give you guys when you have you, Drew, and JJ all out there together? Um, we're just faster. And obviously with JJ, you know, the shooting's going to go up definitely. Um, not a lot of guys are going to help off him, so that's going to open up a lot of lanes for me and Drew. Is that hard to defend when those, when all three of you guys? Obviously, you'd like to have Zion on the floor or whatever, but when he's not able to go, how hard um, is that? I think it's just a different look. I mean, I think Zion's incredibly hard to guard as well. Um, JJ is more obviously on the perimeter, running off the screen, so it's just a different dynamic. I guess is it a disappointment knowing you're going into the season and Zion won't be available for that first game? Uh, I mean, we definitely want to know, but there's nothing we can do. You know, we got to just hold the fort down until you get back. I mean, he's still on the team. It's not like he's missing the whole season. Uh, he's going to be out a couple of games, but he'll be back strong. What have your thoughts on Favors been during this preseason? He hasn't played a whole lot in preseason games. We just haven't seen him. How have you kind of seen him mesh uh, into this tempo? I'm not worried about stuff? it. I mean, he knows how to play basketball. He's a, he's a great vet in this game. So, you know, I think as long as he's healthy, he's going to be ready to go. And I guess uh, it's going to be a, a little bit of a different look for B.I. starting at the four. I guess you've seen that some in L.A. with him. So I guess how do you think he's going to adjust to playing? Uh, he'll be fine. Uh, I think we just got to focus on rebounding a little bit more. But offensively, I mean, I don't know any fours that can guard him. So that will be good for us. What is that lineup like when you guys have three guards out there with J.J. and Drew and Lonzo? I mean, how dynamic is, is that perimeter attack? Well, we have a lot of different variations. Uh, all the guys can shoot the basketballs. Um, both all the guys can create for each other. So um, I think that you get a, a good look at everybody on the wing and people creating for each other to get some good shots uh, outside the arc and uh, inside. Is it a different mindset for you when you go out there and you play the four and you're starting with that group and then come back and playing the three? Uh, I don't think it's a different mindset. I think uh, it's, it's pretty much the same mindset, just attacking my defender. Uh, creating for others on the basketball floor, just trying to figure out what position I can be in to make a difference on the basketball floor, just being at a different position, but just moving the same without the basketball and with the basketball. Do you think playing at that spot is going to give you an opportunity to get some matchups that you can take advantage of playing fours rather than threes? Absolutely. Um, I, I don't think the position really matters, um, whether it's uh, smaller guys on the wings or bigger guys at the four position. So uh, it's, it's going to be good and with some uh, matchup problems and for our guards and for myself also. What's the biggest challenge of playing for? Is it, is it just, you know, getting rebounds defensive end? I mean, what would you kind of say is the hardest part of, of that adjustment? Uh, just the neck to continue to be on the, back, on the boards. I think I have a, a habit of fearing off a little bit early, just trying to be on the boards a little bit early, uh, trying to get into my man so I can box out and, and grab the boards and being able to push. I think the, the good side from that is me, me and being being able to push the, the pace after I grab the board and it starts the offense a little bit early. How ready are you for this regular season to start? You can play, playing games with him. Uh, I'm ready. Um, I think uh, this is what we work all summer for. Uh, granted, I only had a month to work out due to my injury, but this is what we we've been waiting for to compete against somewhere else, someone else. Being that we've been competing and beating up on each other every single day, so uh, it's going to be fun to get out and try to compete against someone else. And I guess uh, the date's coming up for uh, your extension deadline. We asked you about it before, but I guess if it doesn't happen, is that something you're going to use as motivation going into the season, or is that something you're not thinking about at all? Uh, that's something that handles itself. Um, I put the work in. Uh, I continue to this is to show myself on the basketball floor and inside the gym, outside the gym, uh, away from away from the gym, uh, showing that I have good character and whatever else for the organization. So um, my my job is to play basketball, and uh, if someone sees something in me that they really really liked, and that's so good. Have they given you the team? Have they given you any indication either way what they're thinking, or are they kind of? Uh, me and Griff talk. Me and my agent talk. We have good conversations. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN Plus.